The emergency shelter of northern Kentucky is working extra hours to keep people out of dangerous temperatures, and right now the shelter is open to help families. And nine on your side's Brianna Harper is live right now in Covington explaining why the shelter had to adjust their need. Brianna? Tanya Craig, just about 15 minutes ago, doors opened here at the emergency shelter of northern Kentucky. If you take a look behind me, you can see some of these folks still in line waiting to get in, but just moments ago, or earlier this week, the shelter was open for 24 hours around the clock. We're told so far this winter season, they provided that all day service for a record number of 15 days, but we're told that constant service isn't easy. Some might describe this winter season as dangerous. It's brutal. Um, it has been record setting. And for the emergency shelter of northern Kentucky, the winter season came even sooner than expected. Did we anticipate this cold weather? No. Um, did we watch and go, oh my gosh, like, what are we going to do? Absolutely. Northern Kentucky's winter shelter opened its doors October 29th. That's three days earlier than usual due to unseasonably freezing temps. Since then, they served over 360 adults in need of a warm and safe place to stay. Guests like Curtis Jordan. I have to make the most of Whatever, whatever resources that, 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 that they're given. Written on the walls, the shelter's mission is to be life-saving in the winter, which is why the emergency shelter of Northern Kentucky says it made the decision to stay open 24 hours for more days than ever before, 15 days to be exact. And for us, uh, that means uh, no regard to the budget of what the impact this could have on us on the bottom line. It, it comes down to are we doing the right thing and the right thing is to open our doors. But to keep up with the demand, the shelter is asking for your help. We're told about 90 percent of the shelter's needs are privately funded thanks to the help of community partners. With that, they're able to provide guests shelter from the elements as well as have access to a bed, shower and food. And they're trying to keep a positive frame of mind, trying to, you know, motivate others as others are motivating me. Now, if you want to help out, you can always volunteer, donate clothing, or donate money. You can find me on Twitter at Brianna WCPO. I just tweeted out a link with more information. Reporting live in Covington, Brianna Harper, 9 on your side.